do it again. Let's get it going. But Jess! Thanks, Christine. But it's actually Jessica. <laughs> not Jess, not Jessie, Jessica. Because my dad used to get really upset when anyone abbreviated my name because turns out he dated a girl called Jess and she also called him Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, I find it really annoying when people get my name wrong. <clears throat> Christine. <laughs> and it's, it's actually a really difficult name. Uh, it's Welsh, uh, but I'm Australian, so people often get it wrong. So instead of Anwell, they say Unwell, or Animal, which is technically accurate. Uh, so Anwell is the Welsh equivalent of the um, Australian last name Smith. It's really common. So when I met this Welsh girl, I told her my name. I'm like, it's Anwell. My, my last name's Anwell. And uh, went straight over her head. So I spelled it to her. I'm like, it's A-N-W-Y-L. She went, oh, you mean Andrew. <laughs> So I've been spelling, I've been saying my name wrong all this time. She goes, it's all right, it makes sense. Um, it actually means ignorant. <laughs> what was your name? Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. I'm a bit burnt. Sorry. Or maybe I've just had sex. <laughs> or maybe I'm a bit embarrassed because it's the first time doing stand up. <laughs> okay, it wasn't the sun, it was the sex. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you're embarrassed. <laughs> Probably because it was a. Our first time too. <laughs> no, actually, um, I have a skin condition. Uh, it kind of sucks. Because people say stupid shit all the time. Like the other day, I, uh, me and my uh, girlfriend, she's Japanese. Uh, we were... <laughs> I was out with my girlfriend, Japanese, <laughs> and this French guy walks in and uh, he speaks to her but points to me and says, she, uh, doesn't she uh, look like a uh, near miss from Hiroshima? Oh, nice. And before I could tell him to fuck off, <laughs> I remembered my parents used to always say, always pardon the French. <laughs> So I've noticed a lot recently that people focus a lot on appearances. In fact, the other day, uh, this girl, before even saying, hey, came up to me and said, what happened to your leg? And uh, I said, I was in a motorcycle accident. Wow, <laughs> that's kind of badass. It's kind of badass. Um, when did it happen? Uh, I don't really like talking about it. Oh, come on. I kind of love all that gory stuff. Tell me, like, where did it happen? <sighs> Asia? Oh, so you're an idiot. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like telling that story. It's uh, embarrassing, you know? Like, imagine your first time Imagine, I'm in Asia, it's my first ever motorcycle accident. 
and I'm stationary, engines off, 27 stitches. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. <laughs> so imagine, now imagine a Vietnamese hospital. It's about as good as it sounds. <laughs> And um, I didn't have insurance, actually. It lapsed two weeks prior. Uh, and everything over there is in their currency, Vietnamese dong, and I had to convert it to the dollar. And, it's just... and it made me realise that I appreciate the Western healthcare system. It's the little things, like when you go into surgery and... They wash their hands and <laughs> clean sheets, you know, <laughs> they're the best. <laughs> that and qualifications. <laughs> so I'm there a week and they give me the bill. One million three hundred thousand. That's a lot of dong. <laughs> So I'm thinking, how am I going to pay for this? And I worked it out and it was like 80 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck qualifications. <laughs> System works. Hey, yeah. So it wasn't all that bad. I actually got to fly first class and I was treated like royalty. They actually airlifted me out of the plane and into a food truck, <laughs> as, as you do, <laughs> with the other injured. Um, actually, it was kind of depressing. Um, next to me was this broken melon. I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> but when we arrived at the terminal, I got wheeled out by this really tall chiseled, strong, Vietnamese dong. I mean, <laughs> air marshal, air marshal. Vietnamese air marshal. <laughs> right. So he wheels me around the airport through uh, customs, all around the airport, up and down until we get to the gate, about to board the plane and he stops halfway. I'm like, what are you doing? Don't stop, we're stationary. <coughs> Could have crashed. <laughs> so he says, I'll make it up to you. I'm really sorry. And he did. About a mile high. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> I think we should see other people. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Jess. I'm Woodstock.